Good morning gang. Today I am heading off to Ikea. I'm on the hunt for some more glass vessels and Ikea do have like a good set of three or at least they used to and I just figured as I'm going there I'm gonna have a little mooch around. I thought I'd bring you with me. Let's go shopping. Damn, oh hot damn what part of party don't you understand wish you just freak out. Freak out already. I'll never let you As always, I planned on talking in the store, but when I got there, I <laughs> felt too nervous to talk in the store. There was also loads of kids around with their parents that are looking for these unicorn things that were dotted around in Ikea. So I didn't want to record them there. I did spot this glass vessel though, and I did actually pick it up. It was four pound, which I thought was an okay price. Pretty pleased with that find straight away walking in. So I am going to speed up the kind of walking around the store section because as I said I was planning on kind of taking my time and looking around in each environment seeing what they're using different things for seeing how they're styling the plants but I mean not that you can see them in this section there were lots of kids around. I actually picked this cushion up. <laughs> I did end up putting it back down again which I've got some little regrets about. I just I like the unusual shape and I like the colours. Oh, I kind of regret leaving it there now. Like I did pick it up and carry it around for a little bit. And, and then I put it down. Should I go back and get it? Ooh. <laughs> so I spotted these glass jars. These were £2.50. And these were in like the um, candle vase section. Here was another one. £5.50. I quite like the shape of this one. These are the ones that I originally went in for, the set of three for £15. I didn't actually end up picking them up. I got a few other things though. And then obviously had to head to the houseplant section. And I really like the way they've styled it with the like house shape wood <laughs> and the bunting. I thought it looked really cute. I love the sign, plants make people happy. Totally agree, Ikea, they really, really do spotted this little pothos enjoy they only had a couple there and they were really sad as usual all of the succulents and then they have these bromelades i think they're bromelades but i like the way they've put the lights kind of like it looks like they've tried to make it a grow light down some of the aisles with the kind of flat pack furniture there is these really big plants i think i might have actually spoken this section so let me just see if i did <laughs> the size of these bird of paradise yeah. just huge these have got massive sounds very new shines doesn't see the price on it oh and look I'll teach a dragon skull eight pound hmm I feel a little bit sticky I don't know what they've got on them wow that's pretty cool isn't it look at all these tiny little succulents Cute. I do like the backs of these. Very cool. Let's see what else we can find. I can see some calathea out there. I'm pretty sure that's the calathea wards of which 
young, the really like fuzzy velvety one. That's a huge one. And there's this really cool pokey palm. very very sad peperomia polydoptra and some pretty sad hoya too <laughs> and ivy it's lots of sad plants it's because it's so hot in here i think oh look they've got their this is cute in this greenhouse some nice plant stands Some more, but well, they got piece of these and some very new shine. Some ficus. Oh, really big fiddly thick. Doesn't look too bad actually. Oh, that's quite a healthy one. Some massive, herb, um, I don't know what they're called, the money tree plant. Cute little seed succulents. I think that's kind of it. Oh, they've got the bambino to the leaf figs. They're so tiny. Seven pound. Not bad. And some monster up there for five pound. Not bad either. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Nothing that I want today. I've got to check out the circular hub. I never used to like coming here, but there are actually some good deals, so definitely got to check it out. I can't remember what they used to call it. Definitely wasn't called the circular hub before, but let's, let's see what they've got. Ooh, I like that sofa. 850 pounds. That is a nice sofa. Mm. Do you like these screen dividers? I don't have anything to divide. 30 pound. Ooh. Oh, if I had anywhere to put it. I told Steve I was coming today and he was like, please don't buy any more stuff. <laughs> Got a rug, I wonder how much that is. I'd really like a rug for the spare room. Oh, for 140 pounds. That was good enough for the rug. People definitely think I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you. I feel like I'm crazy. We got some lights in boxes. I'm not gonna hunt through those. It's always good to check the session for glass. They've got these jars. You could definitely take the lid off and use it for plants. Two pound fifty. Not bad. Little pop. 75p. I'm gonna grab that one. Yes. This one here, £2.25. I don't buy, but definitely still upstairs. Maybe it's been returned. Oh, it's so hot in here. The lady that I was driving in behind is actually leaving now too and I don't want to get stuck behind her as well. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! <sighs> it's actually following her around the whole 
a freaking idea. <laughs> It was so hot in there, you guys. So hot. Oh my god. Oh, okay. You just pull out in front of me. That's absolutely fine. Jesus. Right. Let's get the radio back on. I'll see you at home. When I told her, I say, You are my desire. post office to return some things and then we're gonna go home where are my car keys they're in my bag let's go all right return done let's get home watch me dance dance the night away we're home let's get a drink and then see what i got Let me show you what we got. Okay, we are home and we're now in what we call the spare room, <laughs> which is kind of like an office slash, it's where the wardrobe is over there, like where we get ready in the morning. This side is like the office, getting ready that side. There's also right here, the, um, the grow tent for, what was the shop and now it just has kind of leftover plants in it and some of my plants that only seem to do well in there like my philodendron florida beauty <laughs> ideally i would like to get rid of it because it takes so much room but there isn't anywhere for all those plants to go right now and uh, so i'm going to try and embrace it a little bit i've had to put my hair up because it is so hot and that is also why we're sat in here because the living room is it's boiling i've actually put the aircon on opened all the windows and doors when i say aircon it's not like a fancy you know internal it's like a big fan <laughs> i'm in the uk we don't have like proper aircon units in our home it's, it's a big fan that you put some ice in, in it <laughs> blow some nice cool air out so i'm just hoping i can like cool it down out there because Ooh, really hot and I want to sort out the plant shelves today so send cool vibes my way um I wanted to show you what I got in Ikea so let's just get to that first of all look how cute this bag is like it's the classic blue Ikea bag but beige with some like nice handles which I really appreciate Aside from the cool bag, <laughs> I did have like, so I, one of the main reasons for going was to get some glass vessels. Oh wait, that was what I was saying. I didn't get any plants. I considered getting that velvety calathea, the one I'll put here. Um, they have the softest leaves, like I would really love one in my collection. I just don't, it was quite a big one and I don't want one that big. I think maybe when we move, so we're hoping to move at some point hoping to actually you know get on the get on the property ladder and buy a house <laughs> maybe when we move i will have one of those clothiers because they like for sensory reasons they are amazing i love 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 those leaves so yeah didn't get any plants i do like the way they've set up their plant section now though like with the little like housing frame kind of thing it looks really cool i like it so things I did get, I picked up two different, well, wine glasses, white wine glass and a champagne flute because we have, we have two of the red ones. Well, originally we had two red ones, two red wine glasses, two white wine glasses and two champagne flute glasses. And we're both pretty clumsy and have had to replace them several times. So... <laughs> I can't remember when we broke the champagne flute, but we broke the champagne flute and it, we've only had one for a while. And this morning I managed to smash 
the white wine one when I was tidying up. So, picked up two of those. I do really like those sets. They're like just so, so nice. When I was in the Circular Hub section, I did pick up this one, 75p. I've got no idea why, like there's no cracks or anything. I can only assume that it got returned for some reason, or maybe it was like X display, but that will be for plants, not for drinking out of. I think it's a really cute little size. So I got those. I think you would have seen me pick this up. This is from the 360 plus range that it's actually for like storage. So they sell it with all the different types of lids, but I thought perfect size. I'm thinking I might put my, um, my Anthurium Warroquianum in this because I desperately need to repot that one and I want to give it like a little, a little short pole. So I'm thinking that, I think it's a really, really good size. And I quite like this little ridge. It's really noisy outside. I wonder if the mic's picking that up. I kind of wish I got more of these. They were four pound and I don't, I kind of four pound is four pound. I don't think that's that bad for these though. Whilst in the glass section, so like the drinking glasses section, I did spot this little set of four. They're whiskey glasses, but I thought they were a really nice size and shape for like some small plants. Look at them, they're like little, little squat glasses. I really think some plants will look really cute in that. I really like that size and like I'm not a whiskey drinker but that's a really tiny drink in my mind like I know you have like a really small amount and you drink it neat but I like a I like a drinking glass that's you know can hold a lot of liquid but I this was how much was it I think it was eight pounds for four so two pound each not the best but not the worst I really like them and then I don't know if this bit would have been filmed I was walking obviously you walk around all the showrooms and then you get to like the marketplace but when I was walking around the bathroom bit I saw this set of shelves and they were 12 pounds I got two sets so I picked these up because I would like to, I think I said at the beginning, not at the beginning of this video, but at the beginning of this bit of this video, I want to try and embrace the grow tent and how it looks inside at the moment. I hate it. I hate the way it looks and that prevents me from going in and looking at plants and caring for them. It just feels like it's just the way it's set up. It's hard to see things, it's hard to reach things, and I just wanna make it look a bit different. And these are quite narrow, so they're kind of narrow and tall shelves, whereas the ones that we've got in there at the moment are kind of short and really wide. Like where they're short and wide, I, I just like, I can't see the plants properly. I just, what I would like is for the shelves to be further back in the tent and for there to be almost like a bit of a gap not so that I can stand in it. I don't want to be able to stand in it. I just want, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I don't know how to describe why I don't like it. It just feels so chaotic and busy. And I kind of just want, I almost want just all of the plants on the far side of the wall. Like I have been considering getting like a grid and just hooking them on with like some plant hooks. Like I've been trying to figure out how to, make it so that I actually care better for the plants in there because I do just forget them. And the environment's quite stable in there so they can tolerate being like forgotten about for a little bit longer but there's definitely been a lot of times they've dried out way more than they should have just because I couldn't couldn't face going in there so I need to make it look nicer so that I'm more inclined to go in there. I'm a very visual person if something doesn't look nice I just can't I can't engage with it like it just it just really puts me off <laughs> I'm gonna see what these look like 
I might end up kind of returning them and going down the grid hook route. I do like the way that looks. I can't remember who it was now. I can't think of which plant account it was, but I've, I've seen a, an account that almost has like, it looks like the plants are all just hooked onto a wire grid and it looks so much nicer than the absolute shambles that is in there right now. Like I can, I hate it so much. I hate it. Um, part of the reason why I'd like to make it look pretty for the plants for the plants like so I actually care for them but also it would give me another place that I can film so I could like open the tent up and that could be a backdrop for a, a filming environment so yeah I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and embrace the grow tent because they are ugly aren't they they're just like big big black voids I'm considering um, sorting out the grow tent now, which will be really good to get done. It will be, but I'm going to call myself out. It, I'm considering doing that because I am procrastinating doing the shelves in the cabinet. And that's part of the same reason. Like, I struggle to care for these plants because aesthetically they're not looking nice. I want to change the shelf in the cabinet because it's not looking nice but it's I, I don't want to do it because it looks awful it feels like a really massive task and I know oh, that's a weird noise I know it's because of my ADHD like now that I have my diagnosis I I try really hard to not beat myself up about these things because I know my brain struggles it does not have the executive functioning to be able to do these things like a neurotypical person and so i'm much kinder to myself but my god is still frustrating like i've been wanting to sort out that cabinet and shelves for months at this point months so annoying anyway i don't know if this is going to be the end of this video it might not be i might end up doing some more stuff but if it is Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little trip around Ikea and you know, the little sing along in the car. <laughs> hope your ears are okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you are curious to see more videos, check out either this playlist or this video here and I will see you there. Thanks for watching, bye.